So hello everyone, we are here at the National Under-12 Chess Championships and I have with me today I.A. Vijay Raghavan sir, one of India's most experienced arbiters. So welcome sir. Uh, first you. of all, to our viewers who may not know you, please tell them a bit about yourself. Yeah. Basically, I am from Tamil Nadu. I started working in uh, as an arbiter around uh, 97. Uh, so we have around the experience of more than two decades. But at national level, I, I am working for more than 10, 15 years almost. Now, okay. I have worked in various grandmaster tournaments. I have been uh, officiating in the uh, World uh, Youth Olympiad, not Youth Olympiad, but the uh, Youth uh, Chess Championship at Slovenia in 2012. Okay, so that's uh, lovely. So before that, did you also play chess for a while? Yeah, yeah. I am a basically a player. I started playing chess from 1980. Uh, so I have a rating of, I had a peak rating of 2070, now it has come to 1874, but still I enjoy playing chess. Okay, that's lovely to hear sir. Uh, so I wanted to ask how has the experience of this tournament been so far? Obviously there will be challenges in every tournament. Yeah, this yeah. tournament has had its own set of challenges, Definitely. so how has it been? It's a splendid actually. Now because under 12, I words have reached that uh, the organizers are very good actually especially the trophies, the humongous size actually. So it looks uh, very pleasant. Even in our days, we didn't see such big trophies. Now children are able to get so big trophies and the level of game play is also very good. And the organizers have a good set a good standard of uh, uh, playing hall, arrangements, computing, that uh, transportation, all it's very good actually. Food, stay, everywhere it's very good. Okay. And uh, I wanted to ask, what is the difference in a junior and senior tournament? How is your role different in a junior tournament versus a senior tournament? Yeah, senior tournament generally we get lesser uh, issues in uh, handling the game actually, game part. Only the technical part is uh, like the time pressure where uh, there will be a little bit difficulty actually and the clocks and all because the players will make flurry of moves and within a few seconds and the technique will be so high actually to follow that but otherwise children tournaments generally there will be a lot of touch piece problems and illegal moves and lot of claims uh, basically the children are having a habit of claiming too often for minor reasons but or else the standard of play is entirely different but children are also catching up with the elders with the st high standard of game nowadays it's good Okay, so that's good to know that yes, the children are also growing and their game is also yeah. growing. And uh, so beyond that, I wanted to ask, what are some of your favorite memories from tournaments where you've been the chief arbiter, arbiter, and basically held all these positions? Yeah, uh, basically I've, I've been uh, the, uh, holding, holding different positions, like a technical arbiter. Like I started with a normal arbiter in the tournaments. Where even uh, what I learned is collecting the results itself starts with a very important Whatever the uh, uh, position you hold, chess tournaments are always very interesting. We have a various different challenges. But uh, for the as a chief arbiter, you have a much bigger responsibility to entirely supervise uh, the entire uh, conduct of the tournament for everything. So there is always a responsibility there. But working in uh, different tournaments, like a Grandmaster tournaments, it is uh, different. Where when you work in a international events like a youth uh, chess championship and working in federated tournaments have a different uh, challenges. So most of the time, it will be better to see seniors playing chess. Actually, the quality of the game and the challenge is also good to that. Okay, and is there one favorite tournament you have amongst the various ones you've been to as an official? Anything that yeah, stands out? Yeah, the first tournament which I went for a technical thing was in Vaisag uh, tournament, GM tournament. That was very interesting. And uh, especially that was a Asian team championship, I think so. Then uh, the tournament to Slovenia where uh, I, my first travel abroad was uh, in 2012. That was very interesting actually, to see various uh, players from different countries and different languages, different interactions actually. That is quite challenging actually. Okay, and uh, finally I wanted to ask, uh, what are some of the memorable interactions you've had with the various top Indian players? And can of you course. tell us about a few? Uh, yeah, 
of course uh, i have met anand twice but anand when uh, not twice more than that uh, i have met in koyambatur when anand was in, uh, should be like in 1985 he played in world uh, asian junior championship uh, he was too young actually he should be around 13 or something you know he is a man of few words just a smile keeps on playing well then later i just uh, uh, recalled him that i we, i met him in uh, uh, the asian junior championship in vijay park so at that time also we had a good interaction it is very interesting to speak uh, with the, such a great legend other than that then i have spoken with barua actually our second uh, gm very interesting we all remember barua and tipse used to grandmaster tipse used to play a fast chess in uh, railopas game in parani where they once there was a big tournament in south we we see all the top players we all recall that uh, happier days now lot of players are there we we talk with sasikiran abhijit gupta all hari krishna we all meet in uh, pspp tournaments apart from their serious games once they come out of the game they are all very friendly and we have a huge interaction It is nice to meet these uh, intellectuals. Great thing actually. And that too in Indian chess, each one have uh, reached uh, such a high level. So we are waiting for another future world champions. Okay, sir. And with that yeah. wish, I think thank you so much for agreeing to talk with us and hope you have a great tournament. Thank you very much. Thank you.